Well friends, welcome to Amazoft Webcast and in today's video demonstration, we are going to see how to remote control a Windows 10 computer. Ever wish you could get to a PC in another room or another part of town or across the world, whether it's to get a file that you didn't take along, stream media or help someone out with their PC problems. This video will show you the setup that will help you to remote control a Windows 10 PC and how to set up another PC so that can be the controller. Remote Extra Protocol means RDP has been features of Windows since XP days. It makes it easy to connect from one PC or device to another to retrieve files or provide PC support. There are several free utilities out there that will get you set up with the remote connection. Some that come in mind are join.me, TeamViewer and are especially handy when connecting between different platforms. In order to use Remote Extra, there are uh, things you need to understand first. Like on Windows 10 machine, you want to remote desktop into, you need to make sure that the user account has a password. Second, you also need to make sure that account is an administrator account on the system or user account must be a member of remote desktop users group. Third, you have to make sure that firewall on Windows 10 allows remote desktop to the machine. Fourth, you have to enable remote desktop in the system settings. And lastly, you have to check the network connectivity between both computers. I will go through each of these steps so that you can see exactly what needs to be done in order to properly get remote desktop working. So first of all, make sure a password for your administrator account. So let's right click on the start button, then select computer management. Once you open a computer management, click on local users and group and then click on users. As you can see, this is our user named Manher and if you see the member uh, membership, this user is a member of administrator group. Now let's set a password to this user. Just right click on it and select set password. Click on proceed and let's specify the password. Let's confirm password again and then hit an OK. Click on OK and that's done. Just close the computer management console and go back to the desktop. Right click on start button again and then select system. Once you open the system property, so click on remote settings and on remote tab. You have to select allow remote connections to this computer. Okay. Note that there is another option called allow connections only from computer running remote desktop with network level authentication. If you know that the people who will connect to your PC are running Windows 7, 8, 8.1 or Windows 10 OS on their PC, check the allow connections only from computer running remote desktop with network level authentication box. Now the next step is grant the user account the remote access permission. A user account that will be used to connect to this remote desktop has to be allowed to do that. If the user account is a member of the administrator group, it is already allowed to connect and you can skip these steps. Otherwise, click on select user and as you can see, our user Manhar has already access to that. But if you want to add another user, that time you have to click on add and then browse your user and then click on OK. But for this demonstration, we will go with user Manhar and that's why I'm going to click on cancel click on cancel and now click on apply and OK. Now once you enable the remote desktop settings, now the next step is configure the firewall. Let's right click on start button again and then select control panel. On control panel, click on the large icons and over here, open Windows firewall tab. On Windows firewall console, click on allow an app or features through Windows firewall. But before we go ahead, as you can see, our firewall profile is guest or public network. Click on allow and app or features through Windows firewall. Click on change settings. Find remote desktop. Here is, and as you can see, for private profile, it is enabled as an exception, but for public profile, it is not. So let's select the checkbox and click on OK. Click on close and close. Now your computer is set up for remote desktop connection. So first of all, you have to try connecting to this Windows 10 machine from another computer on your home network. And for this demonstration, I have another Windows 10 computer and we will try to take remote desktop from this computer and this computer will work as a controller. So let's open uh, the remote desktop connection application, search for remote and you will see remote desktop connection application is there, select it. This will open an application, remote desktop connections and uh, there is another method to open remote desktop connection app by opening uh, run and 
at the run menu type msdsc and that hit enter and in the dialog box you can type in the IP address or the name of the computer the best way to connect is to type in the IP address of the computer in order to get the IP address of the computer you want to connect to go to the computer go on that computer and open run menu type CMD and then hit enter key at the command prompt type IP config and then hit enter you will see your IP address listed along with some other information but you don't need to worry about that just remember the IP address of this computer and in our case it will be 192.168.1.5 now let's come back on our uh, another Windows 10 computer now here we have to specify the IP address of our other Windows 10 computer and that is 192.168.1.5 once you specify the IP address of remote computer click on connect and you should get a login screen pop up which means you have successfully connected to the other computer now you can type the username and password in our case it will be username will be manher and the password of the user click on ok and then you will get a warning windows with the certificate error the following error were encountered while validating the remote computer certificate the certificate is not from a trusted certificate authority because the remote computer is using self-signed certificate and that's why you are receiving this error click on yes and your remote session will start as you can see the same command prompt is there where we check the IP address of the other computer now once you take a remote desktop of other computer you can use the all programs files and network resources as if you were sitting right on the computer itself now you can open uh, Windows Explorer you can see the data, files, folders, you can open control panel and lots of things. So you can simply you can see you can manage the entire computer from this console. So that's it for this video demonstrations. Thanks for watching this video.